So how this works is on a 45, 45, 90 triangle, okay? That means that this angle is congruent to this angle, right? Which in turn means that this side is congruent to this side because it's an isosceles triangle at that point. If we remember back to properties of isosceles triangles, if I drew an isosceles triangle, here are my base angles of the isosceles triangle that are equal. That means the sides across are also congruent, okay? Same thing with a right triangle that is uh, isosceles. Those two angles are equal, so the legs across from them have to be congruent also, okay? Let's say I gave you that this side was six, and that's the only side length I gave you. That would mean that this side length has to also be six, right? But to get the hypotenuse, what you do is you just multiply by the square root of two. So I would multiply by the square root of two, so that would give me six square roots of two. Okay, now let's say I gave you the hypotenuse. <clears throat> let's say I gave you the hypotenuse was five square roots of two. How would I go backwards to find a side length? So if I go forward, I multiply by the square root of two to get the hypotenuse. If I go backwards, I divide by the square root of two. So what would the side length be if it was five square roots of two out there? Five, okay? Draw another triangle over here. Um, label this and this. Let's say that my hypotenuse is nine. On your own real quick right now, I want you to find a leg of this 45, 45, 90 triangle. See if you can do that. Think about what we just did in order to go backwards. Okay, how do I go backwards to find the leg? Okay, so I'm going to do 9 divided by the square root of 2. This is why we did that many radicals unit prior to this, because can I have a radical in the denominator? No, so if you gave me this as an answer, would it be correct or incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. So what would I need to do to get that, that radical out of the denominator? Perfect. And then I'm left with what on the top? And what's on the bottom? Two. Does nine over two reduce to a whole number? No. But if they told you this in Schoology, what would you put in the first blank? Yeah. And the second blank would just get that two, right? So if this is nine squared to two, or yeah, over two, that's the same for this leg also. So I've given you one leg, you found the other two. So that's how you do a 30 or a 45, 45, 90. Okay. 30, 60, 90. Again, I can just give you one leg and you can find all three. So 30, 60, 90. The side across from the 30 is just your X. That is the side you always want to go off of. And what I mean by that is if they don't give you your smallest side, that's the first side that you're going to want to find. Okay. To get to the hypotenuse, you double it. So let's say x was 5. What would my hypotenuse be? 10. Because I'm going to multiply by 2. What if they gave me my hypotenuse? The first side I'd want to find would be my shortest leg. What would I do to go backwards? Yep, divide by 2. Okay? To get from your smallest leg to your medium leg, you're going to multiply by the square root of 3. So if my short leg was 5, what would my medium leg now be? Five squared to 3. But let's say that they gave me my medium leg. I need to go backwards to my short leg. What would I do to go backwards to my short leg? How did I get to my medium leg? 
Multiply by the square root of 3. So if I'm going backwards, what would I do? Divide by the square root of 3. Do you notice how I am never going to go from hypotenuse to medium leg or medium leg to hypotenuse? You're always going to find this small leg. So this small leg is your important leg on this one. Because <clears throat> you always want to go off of that leg to find your other legs. Okay. <clears throat> the first two, uh, actually, we're going to try one. Okay. Um, so 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm going to tell you that this side is... Actually, I'm going to give you this one. This side is um, 6. See if you can find your short side. And then after you found your short side, see if you can find your hypotenuse. Okay, so which side do I need to find first? They've given me the medium side of this 30, 60, 90 triangle. So which side do I find first? The small one. How do I go to the small one? Divide by the square root of 3. Okay, again, our radical rules. I need to rationalize. Rationalize. So what do I have on top? What did you say? I'm sorry. 6 squared is 3. Thank you. And what's on bottom? Okay. Is that my answer? What's my answer? Awesome. Now that I found that side, I can now find my hypotenuse by what do I do to that? Multiply it by 2. So it's 2 times the 2 squared root of 3. Yep. Are we okay? So you're going to have to remember those rules in your head that a 45, 45, 90 is x, x, x squared root of 2. Um, and then 30, 60, 90 is x, 2x, and x squared root of 3. Okay, try number 1, or yeah, try number 1, A and B on your own, down below. Ask for me to solve for this side, but what would this side be? 6. And what do I do to get to x over here? So this x would just equal how much? 6. Okay. Uh, next one, it didn't ask for me to say this side, but what would this side be? Good. And then how do I go to this side? What do I do to 9 squared root of 2 to get to the hypotenuse, guys? Good. So what is 9 squared root of 2 times the square root of 2? I get, right, 9 squared root of 4, right, which is 9 square root of, or 9 times 2, which equals 18. Any questions on those two? Okay, back side. The top two are 30, 60, 90, and then the bottom two, you have to figure out which one it is and answer those questions. So go ahead and try all four of those. Okay, so on C and D, if you notice, I highlighted these two sides. Anyone know why I highlighted those two sides? It's the small side. And we always want to work off the small side whenever we're on a 30, 60, 90. So luckily on the first one, they actually gave me the small side. So to get X, what would I do? Mm -hmm. So what is X? Good. And to get to Y, what do I do to get to Y? And so in that one, that's just my answer, right? Okay. Okay. Now on D, they did not give me my small side, but we always want to go to my small side first. So they're going from medium to small. So what would I do from my medium 18 to get X? There you go. Divide by the square root of 3. I rationalize because I don't want a uh, radical in the denominator. So I get 18 square roots of 3 over 3. What is 18 divided by 3? Square roots of... Perfect. Now that I have x, which is 6 square roots of 3, how do I go to get my y? Yep, double it, multiply by 2. So what does that equal? Perfect, guys. Are we getting this? All right. E, what kind of triangle is E? 45, 45, 90, right? So they gave me the hypotenuse. How do I go backwards to get a leg? 
Good, and then I'm going to rationalize, right? So I get 8 square roots of 2 over 2, which actually equals how much? 4 square roots of 2. Now, this was a question on the test, so both x's are 4 square roots of 2. But you could have used Pythagorean theorem, right? x squared plus x squared equals 64, the 8 squared. So that's 2x squared equals 64. Divide by 2, so x squared equals 32. And then if you square root that, you're going to get 4 square roots of 2. Okay. Uh, F is the 30, 60, 90. Which side did they give me? Which side is that of that triangle? Long side, my hypotenuse. How do I go from long to short? So I need to do 16 divided by 2, which is how much? So this is 8. And then how do I go from short to medium then? Yep, so that one's just 8 square roots of 3, right? Perfect, guys. Are we getting it? We okay? Okay. Two things. Your practice C, so you need to do 8.4, or sorry, 7.4 practice C, um, which is page three in your packet. And then there is a Schoology assignment. If you notice, I put in uh, three or four new Schoology assignments, but they're not all due. They're going to be for the next few days, okay? So just 7.4 for tonight, and then the practice seat. You guys have about 15 minutes of class that you guys can work on that, so use your time wisely. I can answer any questions that you guys have. Just let me know if you have questions.